Hey everyone, I'm not a rock star, and this is the Pokemon Sword Nuzlocke. So, last time, um, we went through the whole area, caught a ton of new Pokemon, except for in the Dusty where we encountered that insanely high-leveled Applin, but that's okay, nothing bad happened. And we also encountered the uh, Galarian Slowpoke. So I wait a few days to record this, which is why it's coming out a few days later. And I checked the poll, and it's a resounding no for should he be legal. So we will using him. He'll be put in box 8. Actually, I'll do that right now before I forget. Because I was gonna say when we next enter a Pokemon Center, but I'm gonna forget that. And then he's gonna be sitting there. Oh, did I already put him? Wait, where'd he go? Oh, oh, I put him in box 2. Okay. We're gonna move question mark to box 8. Very bottom. Then we're just gonna head back 1. And we're gonna continue on our way. So, with that distraction aside, um, this time, we're gonna go see what's happening over here. And by that I mean skip the text. Ah, uh, this game's fun. The text ain't really. Because I like re-Pokemon games. Because playing Pokemon's fun when there's no new games, you just replay the old games. But all the newer games, it's such a pain to replay them. Because there's so much text. Like, in this play, in the, like, in this game, like, every route, you get stopped by someone trying to talk to you. It's like, I want to play Pokemon. I don't care about the story. Because even the first time, when I'm reading all the story, I think we follow them, I don't remember. But that's what I'm doing. Um, anyways. But even, like, the first time you're playing the games, the story's not that good. It's, like, average at best. <laughs> so, like, it's kind of interesting. But then, anytime you want to replay it, which I think is where Pokemon gets its main value and its replayability, like doing different challenge runs like this, playing with different Pokemon, doing like monotype runs, solo runs, it's just so annoying through all the texts. Oh, Oleana's just sharing secrets or something. I saw Route 6 in that. Uh, is this my time to leave? I think so. Head to the vault next. It lies elsewhere in Hammerlock. What? Oh, more story stuff. God. Uh, that's not how you get on the bike. That's not how you get on the bike. That's how you get on the bike. <laughs> it's Leon. I actually want to go carefully through his text because I want to see if it mentions that he's bad with directions. Uh... Huh. I need to see this. Uh, see, there we go. He bad with directions. That's one once again. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, that was kind of boring. I wasn't really saying anything, but I was focusing on making sure I saw exactly where he mentioned he was bad with directions because I knew he did it. I just didn't know where. Okay, we got some hyper potions. That's nice. And do we go to Route? Is the vault? Well, I know we don't go to Route Six yet. Okay, the vault is this way. We're just gonna bid a, do a bit of skipping. And also, um, I was looking at where to get the uh, Leaf Stone, and I think we can already get it. Like, I think we passed the area where you're able to get it. So I want to. Maybe do that. Um, I don't want to do that now, though, because whenever you evolve a Pokemon with a stone evolution, it stops learning moves, for the most part. So I want to wait until Gloom has a better move set before I evolve it using the Leaf Stone. But I think we have access to it any time. I don't remember. I'd have to check again, honestly. And yeah, you thought we were done talking? There's more talking. Too bad it's not interesting. Like, there's there's two people, they save the world. Wahoo. Like, this stuff was so confusing to me. Because it's like... The story, they half explain it, but they also don't all. So you get to the end. You find out what it is, and you're like, what? Okay. Well, no. I guess it was all explained to you by the end, but it's... Like so awkwardly told and it just this whole mystery thing they were going for wasn't interesting at all to me i honestly prefer when they do like stupid evil team stuff 
with the old games. Even though I said I like Team Yell as the, like the evil team in this game, I don't like how they tr make this sort of mystery to make up for them not really being in a traditional evil team. But we're gonna head on to the next route, that means a new encounter. Oh, I'll have to load up the coin flip, I didn't do that beforehand, I'm prepared. Um, I'm gonna attempt to do that while spamming through this text, this is gonna be it there. Um, someone's here, old lady. I heard the music, and I thought it was bead for some reason. Okay. Come on, yeah. Is this a double battle or is it two single battles? I don't know. It's play a double battle, but who knows? It's two separate single battles. Okay, Stunky comes out. Uh, not a great battle for um Bloom or Blay, I guess, because Moonblast is only neutral. Is there anyone that can do better? Like anyone with a ground type move. Ugh. Excuse me. My throat's very dry. I'm gonna liquidate. Oh no. Oh! Okay. We're fine. I should have realized Stunky was a dart. Uh, my bad. <laughs> So we're gonna switch out um, to Crush, he also has a ground type move, and he's newly evolved so he's gonna be way stronger. Stronger than ever before. He uses Faint, that's not gonna do much, that's like 30 base power normal type move. Bulldoze might kill honestly, because Bulldoze isn't that strong, but Crush is. Let's go. Boom. Okay, Linoon. That's also a great matchup for us. He's times four weak to fighting. I don't have a fight move yet. Oh, I'll just use strength then. <laughs> okay. Ooh, Hone Claws. That'd be scary if you weren't gonna die this turn. I'm actually not confident at all that this kills. Like, there's a good chance, but Linoon's also evolved, so who knows. Yeah, no. But we're gonna kill it this <laughs> Okay. Feel free to do no damage to me, I'm fine with that. We're gonna just take him out with that strength right there. And something I've always thought about when making these videos is what to talk about. Because obviously, <laughs> like, I'm sure you could imagine it's hard to basically just talk to yourself for long durations of time. So I never know what- to oh wow, I'm doing two single battles, hop, you couldn't do this for me? Well anyways, I'm never really sure what to talk about, because I don't know if I want to stay on the topic of Pokemon and just talk about that, or like, podcast style, and just talk about random things, because podcast style videos are what I prefer to watch, but also they're very difficult to do solo, because like having- sort of like a group dynamic versus solo is very different because group you're sort of just having a natural conversation and bouncing things off of each other but with just me <laughs> I just have to like somehow hold a conversation by myself and I'm not really sure how to do that but uh so well that's why I've been talking more just about the game and what I'm doing you guys are more interested in hearing like a more podcast style like, video where I'm just kind of talking about whatever else, like, random stories and things happening. Uh, d just leave a comment, tell me what you want to see for the commentary. You know, just leave a comment about what you want to see in the videos, period. No idea what I'm doing, I'm just kind of recording me playing Pokemon and talking, like I said. And, I mean, I'm having fun with it, but, like, the main goal is to entertain. So if you guys want to have a recommendation of anything in general, just leave a comment. Comment, like, and subscribe, and share the video. <laughs> uh, okay, we gotta get battle before we can get an encounter. And what do you got? A Clefairy, okay. We're just going to 
inhale this thing's being with Giga Drain. I don't think that could have anything to mess me up. No, not really. Right? No, we're fine. Yeah, the next Giga Drain will kill. Oh, Metronome. Metronome... <laughs> oh, okay. I'm not really sure what that does, but... Oh, it's that move! <laughs> It does the amount of damage that you have health left, I'm pretty sure. So it's a good thing I had some big damage to it beforehand. So, I know I've talked a lot about weird moves, but Metronome is THE weird move. You use Metronome, and it picks, like, out of literally every single move in the game, it just picks one of them and uses it right there. So it's very horrifying in a Nuzlocke, because it could just get, like, explosion. Oh, grassy terrain, that actually helps me out a lot. <laughs> because it'll boost my grass-type moves, and also, it'll heal both of us a tiny bit every turn. So that- that part doesn't exactly help me, it's just giving you more health. But my attacks are stronger, so... This thing's gonna do a ton now. I mean, it did a bit more. <laughs> I told you. And metronome again. Uh, don't get something scary. Body slam. Not bad. Ah, now I have the hiccups. Nothing's going great this recording. Oh, of course I get paralyzed. I was talking about nothing going good. It's just my luck with Pokemon Sword. I've talked about this many times. And in fact, I have a really good story about my luck in this game. I really hope I haven't told it in an episode before. I don't think I have. Okay, Moonblast. The Moonblast won't do too much. Um, I really- because I want to save it for the situation where I was in. Um, but I have a great story, and the area- the exact spot it happened is coming up, and I want to tell the story during that battle, but- Oh, that makes me so angry. It's far greater ba- like, it's way worse luck than any other scenario you've seen, like, all of this playthrough. But anyways, uh, and on to the coin flip. You guys can't see it, but it's tails. Oh, <laughs> why do I always get tails? It's the tails curse. Oh, no. Okay, there we go. Wild Pokemon. Oh! It's a Silicobra. I couldn't remember this thing's name. Okay, this thing's pure ground type, not the greatest for an electric type to be in on. Um, I think Winter w would be pretty good, because I don't imagine this thing would have many strong rock type moves. And I'm not sure if Silicobra is even that good at all. No, I don't feel bad at- no, I'm out of Quick Balls. I was gonna say I don't feel bad about not using one, but I literally can't, <laughs> and I don't remember where I got them. Um, I'll have to see where I get them before next episode. Ooh, he's got Glare, that's really good. That's a move that just paralyzes Pokemon. I'm gonna go for one more wing attack, then he should be good. Assuming I don't get paralyzed, we're good. And it didn't kill, but it didn't get to red health, which isn't ideal. It really can't hurt me, so I'm just gonna chuck Pokeballs until it gets in. So I don't waste my money using grapes, because I don't need to. Oh, come on. You were just trolling me. Oh wow, he's going for the para flinch strats. Because Headbutt has a chance to flinch, which is like the same as when you get fully paralyzed, you just go. So using Headbutt to get the flinch chance along with the already established paralysis chance is a really annoying strategy that can actually work. And then you can also confuse them on top of that. And then, they just don't get to play the video game. They just have to switch out. Okay, Silicobra, the Sand Snake Pokemon. As it digs, it swallows sand and stores it in its neck pouch. The pouch can hold more than 17 pounds of I'm just gonna name it, like, Hungry. Because that thing, it's just, like, inhaling that sand. Like, I know it's not eating it for nutrition, but it's inhaling that sand. Okay, I don't think that nature's that bad. Um, moveset that bad, dig's always good. 
Well, not always, but you get my point. It's a pretty good ground type move. One of the best for like a majority of the game. Because Earthquake is like definitively, or like pretty much definitively the best ground type move because it's a 100% accurate. But since like that's such a good move, like Earthquake's a really good move so you don't normally get until late game. So having Diggs one of your best options until then. Anyways, we're gonna do this double battle. These guys are doctors, but I don't think they heal you. Because there's some time that sometimes there will be people like this and when you beat them in battle, they'll like you talk to them and they'll fully heal you. But I don't think they do in this case. Uh we're gonna go for an electric web because that is on the toga tick and then we're great on both of them, because that's super effective on the Pawniard. Oh, that didn't do much. Yeah, I guess it mentioned- Oh, it has Defiant, that's not good. Oh, oh, oh god, I'm very scared for Spood's life right now. Please kill it, please- Yes! Okay. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad Carcoal killed that Pawniard. Because its attack went up two stages, that would have destroyed my little buddy Spood if he hit him. Oh, of course he got the all stats up. This is great luck. Um, but moves like Electroweb, where in a double battle they hit both the opponents, moves like that have a decreased power in double battles to sort of make up for the fact that they hit both. And I think it's by um, 1.5 or something, I have no idea. But, um, it's- so, like, it's weaker than if you did it in single battles. I'm just repeating myself. I'm losing my focus. Uh, this is struggle. Well, battle over topic. Um, I want to see if they heal me. I'm gonna try talking to them. Worst just, like, waste a few seconds. Okay, no. Well, then, in that case, no, not that one. I'm going to heal up. Um, Super Potion works. Heal up Zoom. Heal up Claydol. Heal up Bleh. Um, I guess Crush can take it. I probably should've used the potion on him. In fact, I'm going to be smart and use the potion on Winner. Then, uh, use Paralyze Heals on Winner and Bleh, so that I can actually use them. <laughs> okay, up there we go. Hello, Backpacker, please fight me. Um, the next gym coming up is Fighting Type. And I know I said last, um, Kabu's gym was the first gym I had trouble with in this game, but this upcoming gym was the first one wiped too. Or like, I lost my entire team. So I'm kinda worried. <laughs> um, okay, Sock. I don't think he can have Guts. So I'm gonna use Thunder Wave. Okay, Low Sweep, I'm gonna resist that. That still does a lot. Oh my. God, I wish Spood wasn't so fragile. <laughs> I really like him. But I feel like I can never send him out. Um. He's fine with a crit. Okay, how much does this do? Nothing. Oh my. Low sweep. Don't kill. Okay. That would have killed with a crit. He got a low roll last time. Um... I think Winner's the safe option, but I want Claydol to get some action. It feels like I haven't used him in ages. Okay, let's see what Claydol can do. Okay, bulk up's not gonna help you here. I'm hoping to just one-shot this guy, because I don't think Sock has great defenses. Extra sensory, just destroy him. Oh, come on. Oh, but he's paralyzed, okay. We can just pretend shot. That's basically what it did. And there we go, he's gone. And hopefully he gives us a good amount of XP. Um, I have no idea when Spood or Claydol evolve. I'm just hoping it's soon. Because for the fighting type gym, 
Fluffy's not great. Or why do I keep calling Crush Fluffy? He's he's not defined by his ability. Oh, a fossilized dino. Oh yeah, the fossils. Uh, we'll talk about that later. Um, but Blaz okay because he's got Moonblast and he's Poison type, so he resists Fighting type Stab. Um, Winner's pretty good because of Flying type. Um, Claydol's pretty good because of Psychic type. Spood resists the damage, but can't really do good damage. And, um, who am I forgetting? Did I get everyone? No, Karkul. Karkul will get messed up because he's rock type. So I have a decent matchup overall against fighting type, but I don't have great faith in Spood or um, Claydol to do any real damage. Um, we're going to go into Zoom right here because Skorupi's He can probably just take this thing out with fire type move or something. Oh, he's using Hone Claws too. This seems like a fan favorite move this episode. Okay, um... I will just use Incinerator. Venoc. Okay. Yeah, that does nothing. Wow, it crit. <laughs> This is really not that uh, great. I mean, to be fair, I'm a rock type, and rock types are usually defined by their really high defense, so... I can't blame him too much, but I can blame him however much I want. Okay, I don't want to learn because it's stronger the lower your health, but as I've said before with moves of that sort of style, I don't like risky sort of play in a Nuzlocke. <laughs> like, encouraging myself to get very low on health is doesn't that doesn't seem like the best idea if I want to keep him alive, you know? But with that, she's out of the way. I get a decent bit of money. You know, I should probably buy something. Like I don't know what I could buy, but I have I feel like I have a lot of money, so I buy stuff. Oh, I didn't want to jump down. Oh no. I guess it doesn't really matter. I can just get in this fight either way. So here we go. Another fight. Oh, I need to switch Spood out of- This is really bad. Okay. Um, I think I just go into, um, Winner. No, wait, I healed everyone. Claydol's fine. I want Claydol to get some action. As I've said before, I don't know why I'm repeating myself. I mean, I feel like I've done that many times this episode, so maybe it's just the theme. Okay. Oh yeah, Circle Throw. It- Forcibly switches. Wow. <laughs> okay. No. Uh, we're going back into win. Uh, no, I'll go back into Claydol because it, as long as he doesn't use Circle Throw again, I'll just get some health back with leftovers. Is he gonna use it again? No, he's gonna use Revenge. Okay. Oh, that did a decent amount. Now I don't want to hit him. <laughs> I'm gonna play lame. And use a cosmic power. Because if I can just do so much damage that I one shot him. Oh, wait, that raises my defense. Oh, he's using circle throw again. Oh my god. <laughs> Why? What? <laughs> oh my god. How? Okay, I'm going into winner this time. Oh, uh, if he uses Circle Throw and sends out Spood one more time, I swear. Okay, he's using Revenge. I'm just gonna go for a Wing Attack, I don't care if I get hit with the double power of Revenge. Didn't do much in the first place. Yeah, Revenge, okay. Yes, just keep using Revenge, that's fine. You're not gonna kill me. Bop. Okay, the next one will kill. Is he- Oh, <laughs> Just watch. Just watch, it's gonna be Spood. I know it. Oh, no, it's a Pokeball. Oh, it's Zoom, that's actually not great. Okay. Um... No, I'll just switch into Bled. The whole party is getting to experience this fight. <laughs> if he circle throws one more time and gets Crush in here, that's gonna be hilarious. <laughs> Please let Crush get in. Come on. Let the whole party in on this fight. 
Oh, it's back into Zoom. <laughs> this fight is so terrible. Please stop this. <laughs> oh my. Okay. Oh, he's... <laughs> oh, God. just stop in a crit. Really. Who is it gonna be? Oh, and Declade all, okay. And I get my leftovers at least. Okay, I'm just gonna extra sensory him. Please <laughs> just kill. End this shenanigans. End this shenanigans. End these shenanigans. There we go. The menace throw is finally taken down. Everyone except Crush got Earth Power. That's a really good move. Okay, we're getting rid of Bulldoze for that. Okay. Well, Claydol just got a pretty good move. I mean, his attack stats are still garbage, so... It doesn't matter a whole lot. But, we're getting there. Once he evolves, he's gonna be pretty scary, I think. Okay, what's over here? Oh, that was just... I could've just jumped down that ledge, huh? Steel Wing. Okay. Um, I don't really care what that hidden item down there is, it's probably not anything good, but do I want to get it anyways? I kind of do. I'll just get it anyways. Doesn't take that long to get. What is it? It's a rare candy. Okay, that was actually kind of worth it. Rare candies just use it on a Pokemon and they gain a level. It's pretty useful. Um, how do you get to the fossil area because I've gone through this whole route basically but I haven't gotten there um okay I see the ladder I just need to go to that ladder we need to backtrack for this because there's a TM up there and I don't know what it is we can't do anything with the fossils because the fossils are very weird in this game but ooh dig that's pretty good as I was saying um but I'm not going to bother going up there because it's just a waste of time, but that's the fossil machine. Uh, we got the fossilized dino a bit earlier in this route, and that's one half of the fossils. So, you have to find two halves of the fossil, and there's two tops, two bottoms, and every combination of them makes a different fossil. And it's very interesting, but the way you get the pieces is pretty annoying, so I'm just not going to bother with it. I, like, I'm too lazy to get another Pokemon, basically. I have enough. I got the Pokemon I need. We can do this. So we got this sculptor right here. I find these guys- or er, artists. These guys are, like, horrifying. Like, in the previous games, they've been, like, painters or something, and they just look like people that are painters, like, stereotypically. Like, they're covered in paint, they've got the palette or whatever, and they're just- and they're like out of canvas but then this time the artists are just clinically insane oh he's just gonna self-destruct on me huh okay crush won't die to this yeah we're good okay we're good we're fine we're good <laughs> we're fine okay pseudo wudo um again it'd be nice if i had a fighting type move but we're just gonna use bulldoze like, when does Crush learn a fighting type move? That would be very useful. Rock Slide. Okay. Doesn't do much. Nice. Thank you, Fluffy. Just keep going with the bulldozers. We'll get him eventually. Speed down again. Doesn't matter. Rock Slide doesn't do much damage. And this time we kill. I don't think he has a heal, but if he does, I'm gonna be mad. He doesn't. Okay. Gone. Oh, okay. Useless crit. That crit totally mattered. <laughs> it would've been nice if he got that earlier, but... Eh. Then <laughs> that guy just goes stone-faced and drops his Pikachu. That guy. Because he probably just, like, ruined that art he was spending forever on. I mean, it was wood, so it probably didn't get destroyed, but it probably got scratched or something. And that's probably something you care about if you're an artist. <laughs> Anyways, here we are in this town. Um, there's the gym already. Oh. 
I was hoping I'd have more time to prepare, even though I knew I didn't. And I saw a Pokeball back here. What's this? Ooh, a Dusk Stone. We can use that to evolve Litwick later on. But we're gonna go here and heal. And how long is this episode right now? Okay, it's going a bit long. So I think we're gonna end off this episode here. So next time on the Pokemon Sword Nuzlocke, we're going to hopefully head up to the gym and take on the gym leader. But you know this game, we're gonna get interrupted somewhere. So, see you guys then.